So I've just checked the wheel bearing, right, and there's no play. So now we're going to strip it down, make sure it is all right. Get your circlip out. And your shims. Yeah, reuse them. We're not changing any of the CV, so there's no point even measuring. We just put back what we took off. Take your dry flange off. Knock back your lock tabs. You're putting a new one of these on, so it don't matter if you damage it any. But if you are stuck, you can flatten them out and reuse them. So, one lock nut, lock tab. There's your front bearing and your space washer. And then we're back out with the hub. New seal, all in with the lip on the outside. Well, you get your fresh clean bearing, you get some grease in your upper palm, and you push the grease through the bearing until it pops out the other side. Nuts are better up against. So there we go. This is the one you adjust the bearings with. Get your box spanner. And you put a bit of pressure on, spin it twice. Back 90 degrees and 12 foot-pounds of torque, and that's fine, that's adjusted. Your lock washer. Then you're out of lock nut. And this one's up, it's tight, as you can. Not the lock tab over, so you, you lock one flat of the out of bear, uh, out of nut, and you lock one flat of the inner nut. So there you go. So this one the old seal on, so you're gonna have to replace it with the newest one. So that's gonna take scraping. So you're gonna have to scrape that off. That's gonna take a little while. Then circuit pliers. That's your wheel bearings done. Remove the retaining screw. Up. No, that ain't coming off. Never hit a drum there. Always hit it on the flat edge. Wiggle it off. It'll bring the shaft out with it, really. comes out as a want. Lock tabs back again. Yep. 
and a hump. Well, once you get all the old grease and oil off, it actually looks quite a good bearing. Feels nice, there's no gritting, there's no nastiness. The rollers are nice and shiny. Right, down the rears of the with drums, you've got two seals, you've got an inner and outer seal on the inner and outer bearings, obviously. And there it comes. Let's clean out the bearing races. Have a look at them. That's the messy job. This is the inner seal, which goes on the inner bearing, which is the inside of the hub, which will sit like that with the lip protruding upwards, which the lip will run on the outer part of the, uh, the stub axle there, stopping um, the oil going anywhere. And there we go, perfectly fitted. I'll flip it over. You put the hub back on the stub axle. I've got the bearing bit. There you go. You can see the seal pops out around it. Yeah. That's what you want. Spin it up. Right. Spin it a couple of times to settle the bearings. Back 90. And then on 12 foot pounds. Spin it. Fantastic. Then your lock washer. And your nut. There we go. And then the outer nut goes tight. There you go. It's locked and that's flat there. Wicked. A bit of high lamour. Slide the half shaft back in. Locate it into your diff. There we are, in the diff. And your dry flange bolts. Don't let them too tight. They snap. That's good. Okay. The face of the shoes. It's a bit of emery cloth, yeah. a bit of P120. All I want to do is take off the shine so it's nice and flat and dull. Any brake line it's. Slide that on. And you're done.